फर्स्ट मार्च 2022 मॉर्निंग मुरली ओम शांति बापदादा मधुबन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू हैव टू मेक योर फॉर्च्यून ब्रेक एम लाइक अ डायमंड मेक एफर्ट टू क्लेम योर फुल इनहेरिटेंस ऑफ हेवन फ्रॉम द फादर क्वेश्चन बाय कीपिंग विच सीक्रेट एंड योर एंटेलेक्ट्स इन अ वेरी वाइज मैनर विल यू एक्सपीरियंस लिमिटलेस हैप्पीनेस answer that of the drama every actor in this drama has received an imperishable part which he has to play no one's part can be erased or ended that which is predestined is taking place there cannot be any change in this when the cycle ends that same part will repeat second by second this is a very deep secret and if you keep it in your intellects in a fully wise manner you will stay happy otherwise you will become confused baba says children don't be confused have faith in the father and make effort to claim your full inheritance song having found you we have found the whole world the sky the earth all belong to us Om Shanti you sweetest godly children heard the song you understand that you have now become the children of god according to the drama you have come to god to become the masters of heaven that is to claim self sovereignty the people of hell don't know what heaven is you know that baba establishes heaven and raven then establishes hell no one knows this you know that you are claiming the kingdom of heaven when a person dies people say he has gone to heaven this means they are saying that they themselves are in hell and they are all masters of hell this is something very easy there is no need to be confused your fortune is now becoming like a diamond no one apart from the father can make your fortune like a diamond you know that you are claiming the inheritance of heaven from the father for how long does the iron age last when you ask anyone thus he would say that it is hundreds of thousands of years since the golden age existed you are god fatherly students you are claiming your inheritance of heaven from god the father so that we cannot understand why you forget him many storms will come so what would you become the masters of heaven without making any effort when a person dies people say he has become a resident of heaven they why do they cry they should clap and be happy if it were that easy to go to heaven then everyone would be able to go there so why do we need to stay here in sorrow people poison themselves when they are in sorrow so many soldiers die they even kill one another baba says explain to everyone if they have gone to heaven why are you crying in fact no one goes to heaven nor can anyone go to the land of nirvana the father is now showing you the way to go to heaven only when the creator of heaven creates heaven can anyone go to heaven the father the creator of heaven has now come here only you children know that when the kingdom of raven begins the deities go on to the path of sin why is begins then there isn't a day fixed for when the kingdom of raven begins you children cannot tell when baba enters this one was it when he had a vision when was it even on the path of devotion they have visions you can't tell at what point in time baba came they have shown a time for when krishna came there is no fixed time shown for when shri baba comes baba is the master you can't tell when he comes you can understand from the murli the father explains i am the death of all deaths i had taken 
everyone back home. In the golden age, there were few people. There are so many people in the iron age. All souls have to go back home. A guide is definitely needed who can take you back home. I have come as the spiritual guide and I will take you back home. I am teaching you for the new world. None of the sannyasis etc. know what heaven or hell is or for how long each lasts or when they begin. There is only the one creator and the one world. In the scriptures, they have shown many worlds up above and down below etc. which they continue to look for. They believe there is a world on each star. The father says, I am telling you the knowledge of the Gita once again. Christ then has to come at his own time. There is just the one drama. In the golden age, there isn't the kingdom of anyone except that of the deities. You now know that you have come to claim your inheritance from Baba. You remember the purifier so that he will come. Therefore, he would definitely have to come at the confluence age. You now know why you have come here and what you have come to take. You would say you have come to take your inheritance from Baba. We are studying Raj Yoga. We claim our inheritance every cycle and then we lose it. You now have to make effort again, take the full knowledge and then give it to others. How else would there be any growth? The song is so good. Only you children understand the meaning of it. The song is so sweet that it touches your heart. Baba, we are claiming such a kingdom from you that no one can take it away from us. Thus is an imperishable inheritance which you receive from the eternal father. According to the eternal world drama and according to what it said in the Gita, Baba has come to speak the Gita once again. He taught Raj Yoga through that. They have mixed up everything in the scriptures. Someone who can explain the tact is also needed. Some say he merged into the light. Souls are imperishable. They have to play imperishable parts. The part of a soul can never be erased. It can never end. That which is predestined is taking place. There cannot be any change in it. It is such a wonder. An imperishable part is recorded in such a tiny soul. When the cycle ends, you will repeat your parts in the same way. Every second will pass in the same way. You also have to understand the drama in fully wise manner. Some became confused about these matters. First of all, there has to be faith in the Father and that you definitely receive the inheritance from Him. Bharat receives it every cycle. You have to take 84 births. You also have to explain about the different clans. Remind one another that you are claiming your unlimited inheritance from the unlimited father. Not everyone will come and study here. You can see that centers continue to open where residents of hell become residents of heaven. Some write to Baba saying that they can make arrangements and they don't have attachment to anything. That everything they have is for God. They say you can now give advice for whatever you wish. I write back. You can discuss it among yourselves. Open a center in a good locality. When you have courage, the father helps. Baba is so pleased. He understands in his heart. When you make many people who are like shells into diamonds, how good such a donation is. This is the biggest hospital and college too. You had just need three square feet of land. Baba changes you from shells into diamonds so easily. Look how such a Baba lives in such an ordinary way. Where else would he come? Why didn't God enter a king? He says, I entered an ordinary old body of one who has taken the full 84 births accurately. 
This one is the first prince of the golden age. He is named Sham Sundar, means the ugly and beautiful one. Your children understand the meaning of this because people don't understand the meaning of it. They have shown Krishna as dark blue. Even the lingam image of the main one, Shiv Baba, has been carved out of black stone. They have shown dark images of Krishna and Ram. Why are they shown fair in some places and dark in other places? They show dark blue images in the temples to Jagannath. In same places, they have even shown dark blue images of Narayan. In some places, even Lakshmi is shown as dark. It is a wonder how people's intellect work. Baba gives you two directions to enable you to meet him. Everything else that people do, such as sacrificial fires, tapasya, making donations, etc., is also waste of money. Why do they then call out, Oh, purifier, come? Why do they remember him? There are so many rivers, such as the Ganges and the Jamuna, as well as other canals. Baba has also been on many pilgrimages. Now, you most beloved lucky stars know about heaven and hell. When someone dies, people say he has gone to heaven. So, explain to them what heaven is. We know this and which is why we explain it. We have found the Father who establishes heaven and he is giving us knowledge. We don't have a human guru. Only the one Baba is the Sadguru. He is the purified to whom people call out. They only call out to the incorporeal one, whom you call the ocean of knowledge. He is the truth, the living being, and the ocean of bliss. He is the ocean of knowledge. We don't have knowledge. It has been seen that no one else has the knowledge that he has. You should bubble with so much happiness that God the Father, the purifier, is teaching you. He is our Father, Teacher, and Sadguru. There is no need to choke over this. You have to look after your own creation. If you just come and sit here, that would be like the knowledge of the sannyasis. While leaving at home with your family, you can make time to sit for an hour or half an hour. First of all, you have to stay in a furnace for seven days. For seven days, you mustn't remember anyone and you mustn't write to anyone. You must completely forget everyone. You stayed in the furnace for many years, but even then it was the destiny. Some were pulled away by Maya. Maya is so powerful. The father says, children, gradually continue to make your stage strong. You know that your 84 birds have now ended. You have the whole tree and all the religions in your intellects. There too. There are different sections. It is like that here and the same there. However, it is not possible for anyone to have eternal liberation. It isn't that a soul is like a bubble of water and it merges into the supreme soul. In that case, the whole part of that soul would end. Everyone would merge into the light and there would then be no play, means drama. Those are all lies. There is so much falsehood that there isn't a trace of truth. Your mouths are not sweetened on the path of devotion. Your children know who sweetens your mouth. You should pay full attention to the father's study. Don't go crazy about the old world. Don't become body conscious. You now have to transfer your bags and baggages and transfer yourselves. This world is now to end. Baba says, ensure everything. When you ensure yourselves on the path of devotion, you receive temporary fruit. The belief that God gave the fruit. You now give to Baba and so Baba gives you the return. Baba, you give it to him directly. You receive insurance for 21 births. Baba says, look, I ensured myself fully and so I received the full kingdom. That is physical insurance. Whereas this is with the spiritual father. People donate in the name of God and so God gives them a return. He is the 
bestower on the path of knowledge and also on the path of devotion. Thus is an unlimited study for the unlimited sovereignty. You can take as much as you want. You can claim the kingdom of the world. Victory to your efforts. Make effort to be traded in the rosary of victory. If you are confused, the surgeon who can advise you is sitting here. You know you have claimed the sovereignty and lost it many times. You have this knowledge at this time and then in the golden age you will have forgotten it. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada, the spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the dharna. First point, don't go crazy about the old world. Transfer your bags and baggage. Ensure everything you have. Second point, if you don't have attachment to anything, do the service of changing shells into diamonds. Only by donating your wealth of knowledge will it increase. Blessing. May you be ever ready and a conqueror of attachment and pass every paper by having the awareness of being an instrument. Explanation. Ever ready means to be a conqueror of attachment and an embodiment of remembrance. No relative or any position must be remembered at that time. Let there not be any attachment to anyone. You have to be detached from everyone and loving to everyone. The easy effort you must make for this is to have the consciousness of being an instrument. By considering yourselves to be an instrument, you will remember the one who has made you an instrument. Not that this is my family, this is my duty. No. I am an instrument. With the awareness of being an instrument, you will pass every paper. Slogan To make Father Brahma Sanskars your Sanskars is to follow the Father. Om Shanti